this is the solution to written homework nine. Okay, so it says make a slope chart. Uh, all right. So the first um, requirement is that you have to compute the natural domain. Well, you have to recall what x to 2 thirds means. f of x uh, can be written, must be written and understood in this way. It is x to 1 third, you do the fractional part first, and then you square it. Which is to say that f of x is the cube root of x, so you compute the cube root of x, and then you square that. Well, the cube root of x, its, its natural domain is all reals, and the squaring function, its natural domain is all reals. So this, is, this uh, natural domain is therefore all, uh, all x. So that there's no breaks. Now, notably about this particular uh, function, it, will, it would also be quite useful for you to know what its plot looks like. So its plot looks like this. <clears throat> so it looks like that going that way, and it also has a mirrored reflection of that going the other direction. So its plot looks more or less like that. And since, since you now know what it looks like, you should be able to, to uh, anticipate what the slope chart's going to look like. It's got to be uh, decreasing on this part and then increasing on this part. And in particular, that's pointy at the origin, so you should have the expectation that the derivative will not exist there. Okay, so two, let's find the critical points. Okay, to do that we'll need the derivative. So the derivative is two-thirds x to exponent two-thirds minus one. Well, two-thirds minus one is negative one-third. And I'll rewrite it in this way. So you could say that that's two-thirds and then multiplied by one over uh, x to one-third, so that's moving that to a denominator so it has a positive exponent, and then if you like we could write this as say 2 divide by 3 cube root of x. Any one of these is fine but different people have better understanding on different ones. So the first question is that there is there anywhere that the derivative is undefined? Is there anything that you simply are not allowed to plug in to these expressions? And the answer is yes, at x equal to 0. You can't plug in 0 because the cube root of 0 is 0. And therefore, if you were to attempt to plug in 0 into this expression, you would be dividing by 0. So it, the derivative is undefined at 0 because this is division by 0. Now, that's what I meant when I said, well, look, since you know in advance what the plot is supposed to look like, notice right there that is a pointy place on the function. That's a pointy place on the function, so we had every expectation that there's going to be no tangent line. 
because after all, that's what the geometry of an undefined derivative means. It means that there's no tangent line. Okay, then, besides that, is there anywhere where the derivative is equal to zero? And the answer is, there are none. Because there's nothing in the numerator, there's only a two. The only way to get this fraction to be zero is if the numerator is zero. But the numerator is always two, so there's nowhere the derivative is zero. Okay. Now we can make the slope chart. Uh, well, the natural domain is all the reals. There's just one fence post at zero. So let's plug in, say, mm, negative one in the left region and positive one in the right region. And we're going to plug those into, I'm going to plug those values into, this simplified version of the derivative right here. Okay, so then 2, that's positive, so that'd be positive, 3, that's positive, and then the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, which is negative. And then uh, plugging in 1, two, so 2 is positive, 3 is positive, oops, 3 is positive, and then the cube root of 1 is 1, which is positive. And as a result, the overall sign in the left region is negative, so it's decreasing in the left region, and then the overall sign in the right region is positive, so it's increasing. Again, because we knew what the plot looked like, this is totally expected. Then, as a result now, we're able to make our conclusions. <clears throat> For relative men, There is a relative min at x is equal to 0. And then for relative max, there are none. And that's the answer.